What's up, the John Squad? This is John Planning Year here on YouTube. That is right. I'm coming to you my wonderful world of wrestling Wednesdays. So sit back, relax, and let's enjoy some wonderful world of wrestling Wednesdays. I'm going to break down the Eliminate Raw for you guys. And then I'm going to I'm gonna give you the WWE SummerSlam results that happened this past Saturday uh, uh, at WWE SummerSlam. So sit back, relax, and let's enjoy wonderful world of wrestling Wednesdays. So let's do the shout out to the John Squad. So, we, we kicked off the Eliminate Raw with the... With Cody Rhodes coming out, talking about Brock Lesnar and saying, saying he has no one else to beat, and, and, and then Seth Rollins comes out and talks to Cody Rhodes, and and then the Judgment Day come out, and and the Judgment Day versus Seth Rollins versus Cody Rhodes and Sami Zayn, the Judgment Day versus Seth Rollins, Cody Rhodes and Sami Zayn is made official for the main event on Raw. As in Chad Gable. Beats Ricochet, Tomas Ciampa, Matt Riddle in a fatal four-way match to become the new number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. Then announced for this upcoming week on SmackDown, we're having the Hail to the Chief, Roman Reigns, on SmackDown this Friday. Then the, then we had a then we had a backstage with the Miz, and the Miz wants to go do a photo shoot, but then all of a sudden now Ellie Knight was was taking pictures and and he has to wait his turn. Then we have Shinsuke Nakamura beats Bronson Reed in a match. Then Becky Lynch addressed her Trish, uh, addresses Trish Strauss ahead of her match next week on Raw. Which Becky Lynch started her blonde, so now she's a blonde now, Becky Lynch. Then we had Finn Balor and Damian Priest got into an argument backstage. That was a backstage segment with Damian Priest and Finn Balor got into an argument. Then Shayna Baszler beat Zoe Starks with a Ronda Rousey's move. Then Sami Zayn was attacked backstage by J.D. McDow. McDow. Luigi Castro beats Otis in a match. Then we had an in-ring segment with L.A. Knight and The Miz. And The Miz declares that L.A. Knight is, favor of, is, is a flavor of the month. And that the fans will love, love for five months. Then get tired of that he's... That... That he's an attitude era fanboy, playing cosplay in his ring, and then Ellie Knight comes out. Ellie says that he has been making himself a dangerous man, while WWE has been betting on the wrong horses. With with that being one of one of them, because he's safe. Ellie says that he's not, and he's not be says he's not be messed with and that the difference difference between him and the Miz. So that is just something I think it should get LA Knight versus the Miz view now. But now we have the New Day come back and Kofi Kingston is back from his injury. And so the New Day beat the Viking Raiders in a match. Then the New Day the New Day announced that they are are going to bring back positive to be back bring to be positivity backstage to the WWE universe. And that, and they want to become the WWE Undisputed Tag Team Champions. So that's awesome. I'm glad the New Day's back, but they need to stay away from the tag team titles, to be honest, because they don't really need it. Then we have Seth Rollins, Cody Rhodes, Shinsuke Nakamura beat the Judgment Day in the main event because Sami Zayn got hurt and was a tap backstage. After the match is over, Shinsuke Nakamura lays out Seth freaking Rollins and attacks him after the match. And that's how Demon Rollins with Shinsuke Nakamura walking off and turns heel. Which I'm looking forward to that match. It's going to be something with Shinsuke Nakamura versus Seth Rollins for the WWE World Championship belt. So it's looking positively good. Now, I'm going to tell you the WWE SummerSlam results. So let's do the Shadow of the John Squad. So, we had Logan Paul defeated Ricochet by pinfall. That's how we kick off SummerSlam. Logan Paul versus Ricochet. Logan Paul defeated Ricochet by pinfall in a singles match. Then Cody Rhodes defeated Brock Lesnar by pinfall in a singles match. LA Knight won by eliminating Sheamus in the in the in the twenty five man battle royal for the Slim Jim Memorial Battle Royal. LA Knight defeated Sheamus, I mean, eliminated Sheamus, not defeated, to eliminated. Then uh, Shayna Baszler defeated Ronda Rousey by technical submission in an MMA rules match. Then Gunther defeated Drew McIntyre in a singles match for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Then Seth Rollins Rollins defeated Finn Balor. By pinfall and for the to retain the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. 
Then Bianca Belair defeated Asuka and Charlotte Flair by pinfall to win the WWE Women's Championship. Then AO Sky comes out with Bailey and defeated Bianca Belair by pinfall to become the new WWE Women's Champion. And that was AO Sky's cash in over Money in the Bank. Then we had Roman Reigns defeated with Paul Heyman de and Sosuko defeated. Jey Uso by pinfall and a tribal combat for the WWE Undisputed Universal Championship in recognition of the tribal chief of the Aona's family. So, Roman Reigns was victorious and that's going to do it for Wonderful World Wrestling Wednesdays. Once again, the John Squad, please like this video. Well, like this video. Leave your comments down below and like this video. Leave your comments down below and subscribe for more than Skin the John Squad. You're all the best one to kind and leave your comments down below. You want to talk about next Wednesday on a four wrestling? I need your guys' feedback. So let me know down below, please, please do it, please, please help the John Squad. God bless. Peace.